for Jesus, the one who opened doors for you, the one who fights your battles for you, the one who fixed your family for you. Somebody in church ought to thank God for Jesus. And I need to ask somebody, won't he make a way for you? Won't he provide for you? Won't he save you? Won't he keep you? Won't he heal you? Won't he turn your life around? Somebody needs to help me celebrate him. Somebody needs to lift up your voice and say, thank God for Jesus. He died one Friday, rose one Sunday, and now he sits at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and for me. Do you know what that means? It means if nobody else decides to pray for you, you got that man named Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father saying, Lord, bless my child. Lord, keep my child. Lord, use my child. God, make sure she has everything she needs. Make sure he doesn't lose his mind. Don't let him go crazy. Don't let him go back to his old ways. Don't let her revert to what she used to be. Somebody ought to thank God for Jesus. Is there anybody in church who knows he's a way maker? Anybody in church knows he's a storm tamer? Anybody in church can testify? Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. And I came to go on notice that I thank God for Jesus. Come on, come on, every grateful people, grateful people, grateful people. Thank God for Jesus who took your place at Calvary when you should have died.